Hi, here's the next OpenToons tutorial as promised, this time for character animations. Here we are in MediPaint and I painted this red simple character, some highlights, some shadows and four different states of opening the eye. Fully opened, half opened, almost closed and totally closed. That's it. I painted these on different layers and after that I will export each eye and the body of the character as separate PNGs. In MediPaint you draw a selection, press Ctrl C to copy this layer and this selection, press New from clipboard and then save this image as PNG with a transparent background. And I did this for the eyes, for all the states and also for the body. Just select it with a select tool, press Ctrl C, create a new image from clipboard and save this out as PNG. Okay, and these are the images we need for the animation in OpenToons. Here is OpenToons version 1.1 and I drag and drop the body of this red guy to the first level and set the length of the animation to 12. And the same thing I will do for the eyes here for example for the opened eye. But before that I will use the plastic tool to create a mesh. I already covered this in a previous tutorial but let's do this again. Choose create mesh apply and here's the mesh for our image for the body just for this level the animation will also set to the length of 12 and after that i add my bones just click to create new joints for the bones for the left eye then for the right eye just click to enlarge your skeleton also for the feet, yeah, and that's it. And after that you can choose Animate and when you move a joint now a keyframe will be created for the frame you selected. For example select the sixth frame, rotate a joint like that, a keyframe will be created and by doing this we are defining our animation for this mesh. Okay, now for the 10th frame, a new movement. Just change a little bit the rotation of these bones. And for the last one, we copy the first keyframe to the last frame. And this is the animation for the mesh. Of course, the eye I added to a separate level won't follow the movement now. So let's define the length of the animation for the eye. And so let's say this is the left eye. Okay. Now choose the position tool and position the eye for every frame. For the first frame it is here. For the second one you have to adjust the position and so on and so forth. Each time you position this eye a new keyframe is added. Just for each keyframe that the mesh is changing its position you have to adjust the position of the eye. And of course the same thing we have to do for the right eye. So drag and drop it to a new level and do the same steps for the right eye. Just move through the frames and see how you have to change the position of the eye so that it fits the mesh. Okay, that's nice for the opening eye, but we have different states for the eyes. We want this eye to do a kind of blink to close and to open again. So drag and drop the new state, this 
half opened eye to new levels at the frame number 7. And also for this one, for the seventh frame, reposition this eye, the right one and the left one. And you can see here for the right one, the rotation doesn't match. So just select rotation and change it. It is easy as that. You just have to know that these possibilities exist and what you have to do. Okay, now the next state. This is when the eye is half closed. We position these eyes, these images for the half closed eyes at the eighth frame and do just the same as in the previous step. Reposition this new image for the eighth frame, rotate it here for the right eye and that's the next frame. Cool. So what's left? The last state, the last eye state. This is when the eye is totally closed. And we add this to the ninth frame. Right one, left one, position it. Oops, I had rotation activated. Position we need, okay. And also for the right one. Now this is just analog to the steps before. You grab the eyes for this particular frame, set the position, set the rotation so that it matches the deformation of the mesh for this frame we currently selected. And for frame number 10 we just have to copy and paste the images of frame number 8. Of course we have to change the position and rotation because the deformation of the mesh is a different one in frame number 10 than in frame number 8. But the images are the same. For copy and paste you just use Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And the same we do for frame number 11. But in this one we copy the images of frame number 7. Again, change the position so that it matches the deformation of the mesh. And for the last frame, frame number 12, we just have to copy the opened eye state. And then we're done. That is the animation. It is a mix of mesh deformation with bones and cutout images that are located at different positions with different rotation angles and I think with this approach you have all possibilities to create great looking animations. Of course you can tweak this here a little bit, uh, this is not that perfect but I think for this tutorial it should be good enough. So guys I really hope you liked this tutorial, if you do please let me know and subscribe to my channel and it would also be great if you could support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to create tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon here on my channel.